LTC is one of the brands I would recommend as an everyday tech consumer. They offer a 60-day money-back guarantee and 18 months of warranty coverage. Anyways, they sent me the NB832, their new 75% gasket mounted board for us to test and provide you all the information you need to decide if this is the right match for you. Now this is a gasket mounted trimode keyboard with Bluetooth wired and Wi-Fi connectivity. The battery is rated at 4000 mAh and with a press of function and enter, you'd be able to check its battery levels. This came with the content blue switches that aren't clicky. Now more on this later. Along with these pink stabs which performs okay, yet we'll explore it in more detail in a bit. The software is standard with the option for key binding, macro recording that detects mouse clicks, and RGB customization. I will tear this down for you so you know how that's done and you don't F up. Box contents got the keyboard manual, cable, keycap switch puller, and extra switches. Cable is a generic one with the attached USB-C to USB-A adapter. The knob is made of plastic and steel together. And if you're wondering, the knob diameter is at 6 mils. Housing does not feel cheap and I'm giving it a passing mark given that its top case is at about 2 millimeters thick. Actually 2.5. It doesn't feel hollow and that's because it's fully dampened. Now, you don't get kick up feet for this keyboard, you only get rubber pads underneath. On top of the keyboard is where you'll find the dongle port or compartment, whatever you want to call it. And so far I have no issues with its build, I think it's standard for the price. If you got questions, just comment down below. Keycap profile is CSA with double shot PBT keycaps. Stabilizers are pre-lubed and a decent amount was applied as I don't hear that much rattling with the stabs except that of the enter key so I might add more lube here or tune the stabs. Now the stabs aren't very tight though so that may be what's causing the slight rattles on the enter key. This does not have screw and stab ports so keep that in mind. Switches on the unit I have are content blue linear switches and yes you heard that right, blue linear. Never heard of these before. They aren't factory lubed and have very slight scratches to them but aren't as bad as first releases of Outtemu switches. I'm unsure what plastic was used on the switch housing yet if I were to guess one thing the stems are made of palm. Oh and in case you're wondering, these are 3 pin switches. Now onto the design. The NB832 is offered in two colorways. You get the light colored mix and the dark colored mix of black and teal. Top cover has a slight glossy feel to it and looks really good matched with keycaps. As for branding, you get one on the lower right saying Nimbleback. It has multiple RGB modes shining through its north facing LEDs and um, to me, they're just fine. But when paired with a black PC plate, hmm, they don't shine very brightly. The knob LED does not sync with the keys, yet you're free to swap RGB modes on the knob itself as well. The black plastic plate absorbs some of the light which gives it a dimmer LED as I said a while back. And overall, I love the black and teal combo. This gives me an idea on what to build next. Did I leave anything behind? Comment down below. Now tearing this down is easy. First, give me a like and then subscribe. First, you're gonna have to remove the knob, pry out 4 clips on top, 4 clips on the bottom, then 2 clips on each side. Unhook the battery and daughter board from the PCB and be advised that the PCB is screwed into the plate. Now looking at the sides of this keyboard, this has a black PC positioning plate with 5 layers of dampers inside including a pour and sandwich foam. XP switch pad, PT anti static film, more foam stuck under the PCB that acts like a Tempest tape mod, and silicone to fully dampen the bottom case. The sound signature is not muted though, so I think the switches do a great job with contributing to that typing sound and feel. Now don't forget to hit the like button as I said and subscribe for more tech reviews and teardowns. I'll put links below on where to get your LTC NB832. Now, let's listen to this thing. <laughs> 